the world's deadliest assassin and New York's biggest screw-up are mistaken for each other at an Airbnb rental. This movie is tedious, clumsy, and tepid action comedy. The script is full of cliches and pretty much flavorless. It's derivative as the movie plays like the copy of better and far more entertaining movies. At every turn, the movie borrows blueprints from successful films only to draw over them with crayons. This heavy-handed action comedy actually has a promising gimmick as it tells us that apparently every city has its own man. Unfortunately, the script is undercooked and disinterested to explore more about its own gimmick. The movie doesn't tell you what are the villain's intentions and why, as the script doesn't seem to have the answers. The convoluted plot somehow makes even less sense when you watch the film. The chemistry between Kevin Hart and Woody Harrelson never seems authentic. It's not long before Kevin Hart starts behaving like Kevin Hart in virtually every other movie in which he's ever appeared, while Woody Harrelson doesn't seem to know whether to play his character as comedic or menacing. It wouldn't be much of a movie if the real man from Toronto executed the fake one straight off, so the script turns itself inside out to keep both characters paired up. The film doesn't give any reason to cheer for anyone or anything as it doesn't have believable stakes. It has some really unnecessary subplots as well, like when Kevin Hart's wife disappears for the whole movie, only to arrive when it's absolutely convenient. Kelly Cuoco has very short screen time playing the underwritten love interest for Woody Harrelson that seems like an afterthought. The film's dull and vapid visual language is equally depressing, including the underlit compositions and mediocre editing. The fight scenes are below par, with the choreography lacks verve and the sound provides zero punch. The visual effects is also disappointing. At one point, there's a scene where an airplane bounces off the water like a tube of toothpaste in the sink. Overall, this movie is simply disappointing. We do not recommend this movie at all.